Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. <laughs> As you guys saw the title, we'll be playing with the Sephora Favorites Glitz and Glam Extravagance and, oh, Glitz and Glam's <laughs> Holiday Set new makeup set. I don't know what the tea is. I put all my makeup in here, so that's why it looks so ginormous. But either way, I'm so excited to play with all of these goodies. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so if you guys have not seen, Sephora has come out with so many like holiday favorite sets, Sephora favorite sets. They're my favorite like thing to get ever. Um, but, um, they just came out with three new ones. So this one was the one with the most variety, I should say. The other ones have, like, there was a lip set that only had, like, lip products. And then the other one, I think, is a clean beauty set. But it's a little bit smaller. So you get, it's le cost less, but you get less product. This one you get, I just counted, Marissa. You get one, two, three, four, five. You get 10 makeup, well, 10 products, um, two are full size, and then you also get this super freaking cute bag, which I thought was so stunning, and my full face of makeup um, fit in there. I did bring my Harry Potter palette, and it didn't quite fit, but um, just for reference, just so you know. Let's see, there are new sets as I'm pulling up Sephora, oh my gosh. Yes, this one costs $49. Again, you get a few more products. The other ones have a few less products. The one is um, $42. The other one is $45. And then there is a bigger one. Sorry, I forgot about this one, which has a few more products. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven products. It's $58, but you get um, some other products, some more like... Uh, this is the May Holiday Makeup Must Have set, so it has a little bit more of like the cult favorite kind of products. Anyway, so I picked this one because I, this one I didn't have um, most of the products for, and I was really excited about it. <laughs> so I'm not saying I won't go back to get more. I may, but for now, this is the one we got. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna show you the products quickly and then um, I'm gonna apply them. So we did get some Velour Lashes. These are one of the full size products. Um, this is the effort, Effortless Lashes. Um, Sills Sands Effort, I don't know how to say that. Um, oh, it's in the shade, in the style Mini Me, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually so excited for these. I have not put on a lash in a long time, so I'm excited. We also have the Iconic London Prep Set Glow um, Original Setting Spray, or like setting mist, um, well Prep Set Glow Mist, <laughs> and I'm actually excited about this too. It looks so good in there. I do not need any more setting sprays, but I was like, it's kind of free, you know? <laughs> then we got the, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Jisoo, G-I-S-O-U, Honey Infused Hair Oil. Oh my gosh, I could actually use it on my hair today. We're going to have to try it because my hair is frizzing the house down. Um, we also got the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. This kind of sold it for me because I really wanted to try this. Um, this is not full size, but I have so many brow gels that I was like, um, it's okay. Um, but I wanted to try that for so long. <laughs> this is the other full size product. It's the Glossier Lash Lick um, Mascara. I'm actually ex so excited to try this as well. <laughs> um, that's why I got it because there are so many products that I was actually so excited to try. Um, some of them I obviously will not use. Um, not obviously, but some of them I actually won't use. I'm going to have some self control. I'm going to be realistic about this. Like if I was getting this set and not doing it for YouTube, um, and I'm going to use what I'm going to use and not use what I'm not going to use because I don't want to waste it. You know, and I may or may not do a giveaway soon, so we could add some products to that. <laughs> we also got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This has been in a few different bags, but they're amazing. So I'm glad that they're in, you know, so many bags so so many people can try them. We also got the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Pinky Brown. It's the 2.0, sorry. I am so excited to try this. I've been wanting to try a Huda Beauty Lip Liner for so long. And there's so many kits and sets, and I'm like, I need to do it. Finally pulled the truck. Pulled the plug. Okay, this is the Ilia. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use this. It's the liquid powder chrome chromatic eye tint. I don't know if it has a shade. Oh, and the shade Aura. Aura? Yeah. Um, I'm actually whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually excited. I mean, I'm actually interested. I don't know if I'm gonna use it because I don't know what that means. I don't know. 
That one's hard. <laughs> that was like a so-so product, which is fine. They have those. They do have the Kosas Lip Oil in the shade Jellyfish. This is just the clear one. These are so easy to go through and just use up, which I like a good clear gloss. Um, but those are nice too because they go so easy. This I'm actually excited to try. Um, this is the, okay, this is the LIS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade itself, Love. I had tried these a while back when they first released, and I was kind of just like, it seems like a basic, you know, cream blush formula, but I still get comments on that video. People are like, it's not a basic cream blush formula, and I'm like, Okay, so I'm actually really excited to try it again. This one is in the shade Self Love, which I did not have the same shade last time. Um, this is a little mini guy for sure. I just don't know if you guys can get it like separately, so sorry, but <laughs> um, I will double check in a little bit. How about right now? Okay, they have the shade Self Love, $18 for the full size, which LYS is not expensive, so it's fine. Um, but I just wasn't sure. I know that they came out with like a holiday trio, I think last year, with like a bunch of minis. So I wasn't sure if this was like a holiday mini or something like that. I don't know. Okay, let's apply some makeup because I need it and I'm excited about it. Do we love the fall mug? Happy fall, y'all. I've had this probably for like <laughs> three years at this point. You know, whatever. It's the best mug. It's massive and it's super cute. It's perfect. Okay, so I actually had to like, because I threw them all in the same bag, I had to like mark it to make sure I remembered which one was the new one, which one's the old one. I did get this in a, another Sephora Favorites kit. So I'm going to use the one that I have. Again, it's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice in my drops. Um, if you're a, like a someone, there are those repeat products for sure. Like if they'll put in sets all the time, which sometimes it's like good because then you get to restock. <laughs> because they're minis. Um, other times it's like if you don't like it, it kind of is a deal breaker. So it just depends, but I really like these. You can just see how um, glowy they are, but underneath makeup, it just makes, it gives this like more natural glow. You can obviously wear these by themselves. Uh, you don't even have to wear them under makeup because they're not, they're skincare, I think technically. Yeah, nice in my dew drops, but um, they say you can wear it under makeup, which is what I like to do wear as a primer because it just is so stunning. Like, look how juicy. If you like this vibe by itself, then obviously you do you, but <laughs> I like to wear it under makeup. I think it does have a little bit of tackiness too. It's just all around a great, great little primer, and I have this mini. It's lasted me since the last time I did this video, which is Lord knows when. So, <laughs> you know, they last for a while, especially if you have a bigger collection. If you're using one primer at a time, obviously you're going to want something a little bit bigger, but and it'll be good to kind of get a few other options, but... I like it. So it just depends on what you like. Um, next we're going to go in, we're going to do a little few sprays of the Iconic London Prep Set Glow because it says prep and set. So we're going to prep and set. I literally hate this for my straight hair because she's a red, a ready like frizzy butt. It's okay. That sprayer is really long, but it smells so good. It smells like a hair salon. Is this hair? No. Okay, so it says, shake well before every glow, gently spray 12 inches away from your face. Um, with eyes closed, apply the soothing mist before you moisturizer, moisturize and use to finish makeup. I just applied, I applied it obviously before foundation, which I'm sure will be fine. It did add a little bit of glow. It's not overly glowy, but it added like a really pretty glow. It does say also like you can use throughout the day, which I feel like would be nice, a nice pick me up to use like throughout the day. That is so nice. I'm very excited about that. Very excited. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a few products and then I'll be back to do the ones we do together. All right, so I put filled in my brows. We're going to go in with the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. So I actually looked it up and you can't buy this off of Sephora anymore. You have to get it off of Ulta, which is fine, but I thought that was interesting. I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous because what's the difference between the the brow gel okay this is definitely like a thicker consistency interesting it's a little bit it's definitely it has white to it so it's giving like a little it's turning my brows a little bit gray I'm not gonna lie so maybe um this is one I probably should have I looked looked up the directions because I wanted to make sure I was using it right but I probably should have put it in first and then use like a brow pen or something instead of filling my brows first you know what I'm saying my brows are hideous right now but it's not that bad it's not my favorite it's not that bad though you can see they looked a little bit darker a second ago 
interesting but my skin is like juicing the house down and I'm so excited because this combo is so stunning okay let's go in with the LYS higher standard cream little blush with a million names <laughs> the shade self love I'm actually glad that it's a mini not gonna lie because it's so hard to go through products nowadays I love a good mini um, but let's try this bad boy out I think I like a dewier like cream blush I think that's my thing um, like that's why I have um, that's why I had a, like a moment with these where I was like eh. Um, and these are like a satin matte, so they're not as juicy, but like, since my base is so juicy, this might be perfect, which it is. It's giving so pretty. They do their nice formula. I just felt like there was nothing above and beyond because every, like, it's not everyone, but so many people have perfected the cream blush formula, but I'm actually loving this color. I think it'll be a nice fall color because it's a little bit, a little bit more than just your basic, like neutral kind of color. It has a little something more to it, and I like that a lot. It is nice to blend out. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Okay? I like it. <laughs> we'll stop, start, and stop there. Okay, let me set my face with some powder. All right, so I didn't use the Ilia, like, liquid powder eyeshadow thing. I just don't know. Even if I figured it out right now, I probably wouldn't use it in my day-to-day. -day. Again, I'm trying to be more realistic with you know, hoarding all the makeup that I have. <laughs> um, but we are going to go with the Velour Lashes. I'm actually so excited about them. I've never tried them. Um, they're like cute and small and just they look perfect, honestly, for my style. Um, we went for a monochrome matte look. Sort of monochrome. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. It's a matte look. They like really glue it to the... <laughs> To the box so that was like really hard okay so i'm just gonna take my duo brush on lash adhesive here and we're gonna brush on the lash adhesive so i just went on effortlessly <laughs> this one took two tries but we made it oh my gosh so freaking cute they look so good and i'm very excited they're like definitely like make the eyes a little bit longer but it definitely goes with the vibe so i'm very excited about it um i think i added more glue on this side so that's why i was just like bing <laughs> um but yes that looks so good i'm very excited gonna have to do the mascara on top but we'll definitely put it on the lower lash line so you guys could see you can see the wand there it looks like your basic wand but i definitely think it will poke your eye out if you let this hit your eye <laughs> it feels like super dry in there like i'm not getting a lot of product there we go these lashes are looking a lot better this honestly seems like the perfect mascara to kind of blend your lashes to um to the false lash because it's not adding too much like it's not over volumizing or too making them too long like i feel like it's really just blending them so that's actually a good combo here that they give you the a nice lash like kind of mixing mascara this is nice on the lower lash line but i definitely have to try it again with like you know um without lashes <laughs> all right i also think i want to take some of this hair oil I'm just going to take like smallest amount, smallest amount. Again, I don't know the brand, but it actually looks super, super nice. Ooh. It smells so good. <laughs> I don't straighten my hair often. You can see it's wavy because I don't straighten my hair that often, but like this would be nice to have. Oh yeah. Like on deck just in case for that frizz. It's a vibe. I love that. <laughs> I think I'll leave it like in the desk here because again, I don't straighten my hair often, but like I feel like it might be nice even for my curls just to have some sort of um, oil to, to kind of, you know, hold it down. This is really curly. Oh my gosh, it's also raining outside. So that did not help my hair this morning. Okay. I really like that though. It smells so good. <laughs> ah, 
I was not expecting to like that. Hold on, let me leave it out. I was already putting it away because I'm like, ooh, this is staying here. <laughs> um, okay, Lux next. We're going to go with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. Again, in the shade 2.0 Pinky Brown. It looks like a le your lips are better kind of color, which is kind of perfect. That is so pretty. It's definitely like my lip color, literally. <laughs> um, it, there is a little bit of tug to this, which is not my favorite, um, but maybe it just needs like, you know, to be used a few times. It is such a pretty color though, such a pretty color. And it does twist up and down, which is really cool. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a sharpenable. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Kosas Lip Oil in the shade Jellyfish. Again, it's just the clear. I forgot Kosas season even has these. <laughs> Literally, like, nothing came out. I just got a really, they're so finicky, these glosses, but they do end up being so pretty. They're just, like, your basic gloss. There's nothing, like, revolutionary or exciting about it, um, but they are nice to have. Especially if you just want something to kind of, you know, stay in your purse forever or like, you know what I mean? Like your just in case lip product. <laughs> All right, guys. So really that is everything. I'm like obsessed with this look right now. And I'm obsessed with these lashes because they honestly look, I mean, they, they're, you could tell they're lashes, but they're not like overly dramatic. I feel like they're the perfect lash. I really, I really, I'm really, <laughs> I really wanted to do a little bit more of a glam look um, just because I was feeling it today. And so I loved like the way that I looked or not everything turned out. Um, I do have to say it's called the Glitz and Glam uh, like Sephora favorite set. I don't feel like it's super, super glam um, other than like the um, iconic London kind of drop. I feel like the Ilia, like this little thing is not gonna get you glam. Like, you know, what I mean? you know what I mean? So like if it was like a shimmer or something like that, then I can understand how it's like glitz and glam. Um, so if you're going for it to like kind of be your glitz and glam look, I would keep that in mind because there's not much that's super glitz and glammy. I also feel like the lashes, like if you were gonna go for glitz and glam, I like this vibe, but like I would assume people would go bigger, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I, I like it. I love the way it turned out. This is like a soft glam in my opinion. And I love that, <laughs> but just in case you're looking for something more, just kind of know that. Let's go over everything real quick. Again, we have the Glow Recipe one. I used the one that I already have. I love this so much. I think it's so good. And I love, love, love the vibe that it looks. I love the combo I'm wearing. I just, my skin looks so good. I love the supple, like where it looks like an apple. Love that. Um, I didn't respray the stuff here because I did my hair and I honestly feel like it's perfect. I don't think I need any more um, spray. I, it obviously depends on like your foundation, that kind of stuff and like the powder you use. Um, but like everything is peeking through so beautifully. Like it's giving the perfect like soft glow that I love. And so I'm like, oh, this combo, am I gonna wear this every day the rest of my life? <laughs> I feel like it's not as illuminating as like some other products, but it's like glowy. And so it just makes it look more natural, more supple. And so I love this combo, honestly. I'm very excited about that. Um, what else? The brow. I actually, I have to keep trying this. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed because I didn't know what to expect. Um, it just, it's on me. I should have like done more research before I got like super excited about it. I think there are like brow fibers in here, but since it's like white and milky, it kind of makes the brows look white, a little bit lighter and milkier. So they turned a little bit gray because my brows are so dark. So I feel like I need like a brow. I don't have one with me or else I would have just done it. Like a brow, use this first and then use like a brow pen on top just to add that color back. Um, I feel like that would be the vibe, but um, I definitely like the benefits uh the clear brow gel better you know what i mean okay then we have the las blush i actually like i even brought a blush to like put on top of it and that kind of stuff and i didn't wear it <laughs> because i actually love this so much again it's adding to that supple like juicy kind of vibe and i like it again i feel like the last time it wasn't as like it says a satin matte cream blush but you can see like it doesn't look matte you know and like maybe it looks satin Maybe if I get a little bit closer, or maybe it's just the combo I'm wearing, like it looks a little bit juicier. It does look smooth there, which I appreciate as well. So I guess maybe that's the matte aspect to it, where it's just kind of smooth. I actually really like this color though. So maybe last time I just had a really bad color. I'm glad it's a mini. I do not need a full size, <laughs> but it is so pretty. I'm obsessed. I actually really enjoy that. Um, 
yes okay next i don't even know what i use next i guess the glossier we'll talk about the glossier mascara um i'm actually another one that i'm like hmm i don't know how i'm gonna love it i was not going in there like expecting to love this i was going in there more so expecting to uh, just wanting to try it i think there are like fibers in it as well like um um you know what are those called i don't know <laughs> but i think it's to like you know add to your lashes which is nice i just feel like it's definitely going to be it's a lash slick i definitely think it's going to be a more natural lash with this but again i have to give it a try i do really like it to combine the lashes my lashes to the false lashes that was really really nice um but then these velour lashes i'm kind of obsessed <laughs> i would never purchase this on my own so that's why i think these bags are so much fun because i got to try products i definitely would never get on my own but like now i get to love it and so i'm so excited about it I'm, I'm like i gotta wear lashes more i like stopped wearing them as as i stopped wearing eyeliner so much i stopped wearing it's fine but like this is so exciting i'm so glad that we got that that is like a super exciting product <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this hair oil as well that like made my hair look so good and so um definitely have to keep using that I honestly have never I really rarely use hair oil I think I have one at home um that I've used when my hair was straight but really that's literally it so I really don't know the <laughs> like what a good hair oil is but um I actually feel like this would be nice you know just maybe for those frizzy moments where like it looks super super bad and I just need something I feel like I'll leave it here in my desk so that I can use it like when I'm filming like oh like, just in case you know I don't know I don't know but I really like that I, I liked it for my it like for my needs again I don't I I don't use hair oil so like if you're someone who's very picky I don't know I'm just gonna say I don't know but for me I'm happy about it <laughs> I'm happy I can actually use it because usually they'll throw in like a skincare hair care that kind of product and I never use them <laughs> so this one I'm actually happy I'm gonna get use out of it um then we have oh well let's talk about this then we have the Ilia um liquid powder chromatic eye tint I'm not gonna use this it's just one of those things that I was like eh, it's in there I'll just whatever <laughs> I'll give it away or something um I think I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon I think so stay tuned <laughs> uh huh, and that might be thrown in there just for you guys to try if you guys wanted to try it anything like that um yes <laughs> i'm very excited about it so i'm very excited about it why do i say things sometimes that literally just mentally i don't even think i just say it but like <laughs> i was not so excited excited about that but um we got that and then we got the lip products i'm honestly obsessed with this lip combo like am i gonna wear this uh, every day it looks so good because the glossy the gloss is not like overly glossy where like you really just want to be wearing just the gloss you know what i mean it's like the perfect combination kind of that's the thing with these sephora kits that sometimes they're really bad at like if you wear the, all the products together it's like ooh. but there's like they're getting better at making all the products work so good together so i'm like this combo works so good together because the gloss is the perfect like texture for like going over a lip liner where it kind of just enhances the lip liner instead of like overpowering it although it's clear some glosses are like super thick or like super um they have their own things you know what i mean and so that they don't always combine nicely sometimes it makes the lip liner separate sometimes it makes the lip liner like go outside the line because it's turning it into like a pigmented lip color. you know what i mean this is like the perfect one though and then this lip liner is so pretty it's definitely like my lip color but like this vibe i'm obsessed with i'm literally obsessed <laughs> i literally want to film a bunch more videos today i literally have nothing else to film <laughs> but i'm so excited that time i actually meant to say that i was excited <laughs> all right guys that is everything i also said like they come with these bags which are really really nice they're super super cute and i love this i'm like i just want to collect the bags like can i just get the bags i don't know um but all in all i think this bag is so worth it for 50 dollars. would i purchase it again like knowing what i know now absolutely <laughs> heck yes um even more so now because I'm like now I know like all of these products are so good they're so fun I think that they're definitely too if even if you don't want to like do your own eyeshadow like obviously you need like a um what is the word like a foundation or like a concealer even just a concealer but you could literally just wear this whole set by itself and then add like a concealer and you're good to go like it's just this pretty like it's pretty um verse like not versatile what's the word it has so many products in it and so it's so beneficial in that way but like they all work so good together that you can actually wear them all together and like it's the prettiest vibe in the whole world so um that is awesome i love that again there was one set that i had <laughs> they gave me like a peachy blush a cool toned like eye look 
eye color and then like a super warm lip and I was like all together it looked like chaos I was like what but then the few I've been getting after that have been so much better at being like more cohesive again they have one that's just lip products which if you're a lippy girly they had some good lip products and I was like mm -hmm, but I don't need any more lip products <laughs> so I was like I'll pass um and then again there's some this is not even it's not even October yet actually when no it's not even October when you're seeing this <laughs> it's not even October yet and we already have some holiday stuff so like let's see what's coming out next I'm gonna pause on my spending to see what comes coming out but um yes <laughs> all right guys that is it for this video let me know if you're picking up this set let me know down below if you're picking up the set <laughs> I already like put my hair away I literally forgot <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't take off my lashes yet um but the quote the sorry the scripture for today is um putting God first it says father a, gla a glance at my bank statement causes me to shudder where does my money go am I too concerned with what the world says I must possess to be cool to fit in to appear successful your word says that I cannot serve both material wealth and you I choose you Lord be the master of my life and my checkbook I need your help with this amen god knows this world sends uh, you a lot of messages he understands temptation call on him to help you make wise financial decisions put him first and he will provide all that you need and then the verse says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to one and despise the other ye cannot serve god and mammon <laughs> this is like the king uh, thou you know version but um, Matthew 6 24 if you want to read it in a different version but um I need to hear that I needed to hear that all right now bye guys <laughs> and yes I'm obsessed I'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>